Hello YouTube for AW and Brandon fans, welcome to yet another tutorial. Today I will be covering uh, how to do overcast days in Blender. Um, once again, uh, feel free to check out Brandon's original tutorial. Um, and besides that, uh, let's hop into Blender. So here's a, here's a quick scene I set up of an overcast day. We can pull up the picture over here. That's uh, my rendered, actually it's not my rendered result. That's my render result. Um, here, um, over here in this picture, you can see what the day looked like. I took it on my phone, great picture. Here's a little pot to um, show what's up here and the shadow. Um, so basically, there's just this tiny little bit of shadow coming from the sky. The sun was covered by clouds. Um, and so you have to set up your sun to get this type of light. So, um, like normal, I set up everything. I, um, I set up my, um, my, uh, environment like I did in the tutorials. If I, yep, over here. Um, and I just dialed it in like I did and explained it in the tutorials. Um, now, the only thing you have to change, um, or the main thing you have to change is your sun. So when you have your sun selected, there's, and you click use nodes, I believe, um, there is this size option over here, and that's the, si the size of the disk of the sun, so like how soft it is, pretty much. Uh, I think like the default vo value is like uh, 0.1. And that's a pretty sharp shadow, so I just changed that. I brought it back down to 0.3. Um, just keep it to a nice value. Uh, usually under one will do. Um, now even out your shadows with your environment, uh, the non-glossy environment, right? And uh, another thing to keep in mind is if you want to get rid of some of this noise, um, multi-import and sampling on the world environment uh, if you click that and turn it up it should get rid of some noise but not a lot it just increases um, the load on your RAM besides that there's not much uh, different um, you see you kind of go crazy here I uh, modeled that pot um, it's over here and uh, go, went ahead and made my own texture for it and as you can see it kind of works nicely um, Alright, that's it for now. Stay tuned for the next episode of this, uh, which I believe now is compositing. Um, in After Effects, I might do a Blender one. Uh, for those of you without After Effects, make sure to check out um, Freddy W2, where the original 3DS Max tutorials are located, and uh, Brandon's Twitter. Uh, he kind of posts some neat CG uh, related stuff, and also it's kind of cool to follow. Alright, besides that, um, Make sure you subscribe if you like this, and I'll see you next week.